In this lesson, we practice evaluating expressions given specific values for the variable, but this time the expressions all have at least a squared term in them. So the first picture we're looking at here is the radius of a circle, and we're going to use the formula for the area of a circle. Area equals pi r squared. So we have a equals pi times whatever the radius is squared. In this case, we're told that the radius is 17 inches. Let's see if I can write that in there clearly. 17 inches. There we go. So we're going to replace r with 17. So that gives us a equals pi times 17 squared. We multiply 17 by itself and then multiply by 3.14. We get 900 and 7.92 approximately. That's the area of this circle in square inches. Here's another practice problem using values for variables being substituted into expressions or equations that have exponents. Here we have the actual expression to calculate the height of an object based on the amount of time it's fallen. The height of the object in feet is represented by h and the time that the object is in the air is represented by t, and it's cut, measured in seconds. So what they want us to do is evaluate this expression given a value for t of 2 seconds. So what we're going to do is plug this value in where t is, and we're going to get h equals negative 32 times 2 squared plus 60 times 2. Wow, oh, nice 2. There we go. Plus 20. 2 squared is 4, so we're going to get negative 32 times 4. That's negative 128. Plus 60 times 2 is 120. Plus 20. 128 plus 20. Since this one's negative, it's going to be subtracted from here. That gives us negative 8. And then negative 8 plus 20 gives us 12. That means that the height of the object is 12 feet above the ground if it's fallen for 2 seconds.